Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, I just wanted to uh, make this video about uh, making a pour over coffee and the correct way to do it. Hey, I've got some really exciting news, so stick around to the end of the video to find out what that is and let's have a lot of fun. Maui Grown Coffee Company and of course Maui, uh, Hawaii, United States, uh, a great, great farm over there. Uh, they uh, they donated a couple of samples for me to roast and try. Today I'm going to be trying some of their Maui Mocha. It's, I roasted it up yesterday. Uh, these, these beans are just absolutely tiny. They're about the size of maybe three BBs put together. Uh, so yeah, that's, it should be a lot of fun and it should be some really good coffee. Let's check this out, huh? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put four 7 gram spoonfuls of this coffee into my Barazza Encore grinder. Uh, this grinder is absolutely awesome. It has about 40 different grind settings that you can do. And uh, that means you can go all the way from Turkish coffee all the way up to a really, really coarse grind for a French press so you don't get a really muddied up French press. It is super, super stormy outside here in, in Washington. Uh, we've got a lot of a lot of snow going on, which is uh, really abnormal for this area. Uh, so you're hearing the wind whistling by in the background, probably. Um, but yeah, this is this is pretty intense out here. All right, now I'm uh, getting ready to actually make this coffee. Uh, this right here is a pour-over carafe. This one is made by Bodum. I am not affiliated with them. I'm just that's just what I use frequently when I make a pour-over at, at home. Uh, it comes with a a nice metal mesh screen and this piece of glass and a thing to keep your your hands from burning if you have a nice pot of hot coffee in there all right so we got our ground coffee from uh, Maui grown coffee in Hawaii again thank you for the samples I'm excited to try it so we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll pour the right about 28 grams of ground coffee at a fairly coarse grind up into there Give it a nice leveling out. Take our water that is about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Not sure what that is in Celsius, but uh, we'll start. We'll give it a, a quick little pour and make sure that all the grounds have a nice wetness to them. And we have now initiated the initial bloom. Watch as the coffee mound just grows. What's going on right now is the coffee is releasing gases, carbon dioxide, and while it is sucking up the water. And this is really important. Once, uh, once the coffee has sucked up the water, it will become a its own filtration system uh, as you can see we've let it sit for about 30 seconds and now we're going to just start a gradual pour slowly we'll go from outside to inside 
making sure not to pour onto the filter itself because then we'll just have water going down into the bottom of the pot. And we want to go up to about probably about 200 grams of water and then we'll let it kind of sit and filter through a little bit so if you if you notice I'm getting a nice flat bed of coffee here instead of having it pool up on the sides and it's because I'm not just going and filling it all up and then letting it pour out we're getting close to being out of out of water you can you can do two or three pours depending on your style it's kind of a conflicting thing some people just do one pour but that they don't get the good extraction that way I'm gonna go ahead and do two pours here or just run out almost yeah here we go alright so this is give it a nice swirl nice tap get the rest of that water out of there swirl it around a little bit more and then we'll give it a nice pour into the cup awesome cheers and let's check out this coffee Okay, I'm getting a little bit of a, a chocolate covered banana flavored. Uh, it's pretty pretty good. Maybe there's a little bit of strawberry in there. Kind of earthy. I gotta say uh, to you people over there at Maui Grown Coffee, this is some some really really good coffee. I, I really enjoy it. It is it is tasty. All right, so that about does it for for this little tutorial of how to do a pour over coffee. Uh, I've got some exciting news. So. Uh, just this morning, I sold a generator that I bought from my coffee shop that I never got up and running uh, a couple years ago. So, and I, I was able to sell my generator for eight hundred dollars, and that is allowing me to go to the SCAA Specialty Coffee Association World Expo in Boston and right around my birthday in the middle of April which is just so exciting uh, it's gonna be awesome for the channel I'm gonna be able to see, gonna show you guys all kinds of cool products and, and talk to some people in the industry and bring a lot of, of value to the coffee community and just the people who enjoy coffee uh, so yeah that's really exciting look forward to that it, it's it's gonna be a lot of fun uh, but until then uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. Tell me what you liked about it. Tell me something that you'd like to see me do, uh, show you what to do. Uh, and also, please subscribe to this channel. If, if subscribing, liking, and commenting, it helps. It helps everybody on the YouTube platform that, that is creating and giving content to you guys. Uh, I'm uh, currently when I'm filming this video uh, I am at 24 subscribers uh, which is a quarter of the way that I need to get to uh, so I need to get to a hundred subscribers so I can get my uh, my personalized YouTube URL so it'll make it easier for people to just go to traveling coffee guy on YouTube uh, 
uh, it'll be a whole lot easier for everybody to find and that'll help the channel grow even quicker and uh, but yeah so please go ahead and like comment subscribe uh, hit the bell there to get notifications of when I upload more videos and uh, I'm not sure what the next video is going to be but hopefully uh, it'll be something where I actually go on a little bit of an adventure uh, Currently, I'm, I'm kind of stuck here in Washington for a little while, uh, but hey, it is what it is. You can't travel all the time. So uh, have a great day, and enjoy your coffee. Sip exquisitely.